Hello guys, welcome back to our next video series. In this video series, we will be covering the first chapter of environmental science. It is environmental study and natural resources. So basically, in this first video, we will be seeing all about environmental studies, its definition, its scope and its importance. Basically, what is environmental science? Environmental science is a branch of science that focuses on the scientific study of relation between biotic and abiotic components of the environment and their effects on organisms. So I hope everyone got a small idea on environmental studies. So in the definition we have gone through biotic and abiotic. Let's go through them. What are biotic? What are abiotic? Biotic is nothing but those are the living organisms. These are the living organisms or things that shape an ecosystem that gives a shape to an ecosystem example plants animal fungi and bacteria let us go through abiotic components these are the non-living opposite that's it even these give the shape to the ecosystem examples are nothing but water sunlight soil air okay basically our chapter name environmental studies environmental studies is the science concerned with the interaction between man and the environment Okay, so I hope everyone got a small, at least a bit of idea on environmental science and environmental studies. So let's see some components of environmental studies. So, atmospheric science. It deals with the study of earth gases. It includes different types of pollutions and greenhouse effect. So it is really clear, I think, about atmospheric science. So now, ecology. Okay, now let's go through ecology. It is the study of interaction between organisms and their environment. Like plant to plant, animal to plant and animal to animal. These are the types of interactions. Those are possible. Okay, these are called as, the study of these things is called as ecology. So I hope everyone is clear with the first page of introduction. So let's further continue on with environmental pollution. It focuses on the different types of pollution and their and their impacts on the surrounding environment. So, okay, sorry for the interruption, guys. Now let's go through environmental pollution. It focuses on different types of pollution and their impacts on the surrounding environment. So I hope everyone got a got a small idea on environmental pollution. And now let's go through environmental microbiology. I hope everyone heard this word previously. Okay, let's go through it. It deals with the composition of physi physiological of organisms in the environment, particularly soil, water, air. The interaction between themselves is comes under environmental microbiology and environmental biology. Environmental biology it includes the study about the efforts of changing environmental conditions on biological system it changes on environmental system so now what is environment environment is derived from the french word environ which means surroundings hence everything surrounding us comes under environment so i hope up to now everyone is clear with what the word environment environmental studies and environmental environmental studies and environmental science okay and there is an environmental protection act which was taken in 1986 as per the environmental protection act as per the environmental protection act 1986 environmental environment includes all the bio biological and physical surroundings of an organism along with their interaction it includes us our surroundings and everything around us comes under this act it should be protected okay so i hope everyone is clear with it so remember environment protection act in the year 1986 okay let's go through some scope and importance of scope which means importance of environmental studies so environmental studies include everything above the soil and below the sky including them this is really an interesting and important point to remember like natural resources 
ecology, biodiversity, environmental pollution and control, etc. Everything around us comes under environment. As the world around us is changing at a faster phase, human activities like deforestation, rapid industrialization, etc., which are rapidly increasing nowadays. Yeah, this is also an important point. So, the main idea of the environmental studies is to give awareness and to motivate active participants in environmental protection and its improvement. So, it includes climatic changes, environmental degradation, land degradation, overpopulation, ozone layer depletion, pollution, etc. These are the main problems and impact of human on environment. The human activities are the main responsible things on the environment environment belongs to all and is an important and is important whatever be the occupation or age of a person everyone's activities affects the environment okay so if we take an example like global warming ozone ozone depletion a water land many kinds of pollution these are all the human activities which are implement which are degrading our environment so i hope everyone got a small idea on it so in the next tutorial we will be discussing some public awareness what is the need of public awareness so thank you thanks for watching